Good morning, good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. How are, how are you wonderful people doing on this morning? I believe you have been enjoying the book of Psalms. I know I have been enjoying it thoroughly. I love the book of Psalms. It have ministered to me and my wife countless times. And on this morning, we are talking about a fresh anointing. A fresh anointing from the book of Psalms chapter 92. I believe this is going to bless you as much as it has blessed me and my wife. But before we jump into the word of God, I want us to just worship him as we sing also. Come on, sing it. You are awesome in this place. Come on, church. You are awesome in this place. Come on, help me worship him this morning. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Sing it. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place. 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 Come on, help me worship the king on this morning. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Sing it, church. Hallelujah. You're doing wonders in our midst. You're doing wonders in our midst. Mighty God you are. You're doing wonders in our midst. Lord, we love you this morning. You're doing wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we're about to go into the word of God, minister to your people on this morning concerning a fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost that you are about to place on their lives. You're about to do something totally fresh and new in the lives of your people. Minister to them on this morning, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. I want to take you into the book of Psalms chapter 92 and you'll see why we're talking about a fresh anointing. My God, you know there comes a time in all of our lives where we just need God to do something fresh in our lives. I'm sure most of you would agree with me on that. Listen to this, Psalm chapter 92, verses 1 through 15. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of it. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. That's why we love to worship him. David said, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Aren't you glad you're tuning into this morning broadcast? To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning. Listen to verse three. Upon an instrument of 10 strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp, with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. Powerful stuff here this morning. O oh Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. Couldn't be more true, David. Verse 6 says, A brutish man knows not, neither do a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Serious word. But thou, Lord, 
at most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Now, this is where we come into our topic in verses 10 and 11. I want you 10, 11, and 12, 13 as well. I want you to listen to this real good. David said, but my horn, it's my authority. David said, but my horn or my authority shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. Watch what he says at the end of this verse. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. David said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. The word fresh right there actually means new. My God, who's listening to this broadcast on this morning and would agree with me and say, Pastor Sean, I need God to do something new in my life this morning. I need, to, I need God to do something fresh in my life on this morning. So the word, when he said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil, the word fresh right there means new. The word fresh right there means prosperous. The word fresh right there means flourishing. The word fresh right there means luxuriant. The word fresh right there also means to grow. The word fresh right there also means green. David said he lead us in green pastures. Are you listening to me on this morning? So when David said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil, David said, God is about to place an anointing on my life for new things to take place. My God, that shouting territory right about there. Listen, Isaiah even agrees with it. And Isaiah says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19, I got to read this before I read the rest of the Psalms. Isaiah said, remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Listen to verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. My God, my God, my God. He, he said, I'm going to do something new. Now it shall spring forth. Right now it's going to spring forth. He said, shall you not know it? Then he said, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. My God, he's about to make a way for somebody listening to this broadcast right now. I say, God is making a way. But why don't you just open your mouth and say, God is making a way. Let me sing that song for someone. God will make a way. Come on, move fast. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Let me just sing this song to you just for a few minutes. I want to minister it to you. God will make a way. Come on. Where there seems to be no way. Forever. Sing it, church. Forever he is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make a way. Sing it. God will make a way. Sing it. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever he is faithful. Forever he is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make a way. My God. So listen. God is wanting to do something fresh in your life this morning. David said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My God, if anybody can say it, David can. David said, he anointed my head with oil and my cup runs over. The first time David was anointed was in 1 Samuel chapter 16 when Samuel anointed David. The first time, my God, after that first anointing, he slew, he slew the lion, he slew the bear, and then David wiped out Goliath the Philistine. Are you listening to me? The second time David was anointed, he was anointed only king over, over Judah. Are you hearing me? 
And when David was anointed the second, right before that second anointing touchdown on David's life, God brought judgment against King Saul and eliminated him. Are you hearing me? And when David was anointed the third time, David fully subdued the Philistines and they paid tribute to David. My God, a fresh anointing, a greater anointing, a greater level of authority. Are you listening to me? My God, in the book of Acts chapter 2, when Peter preached, 3,000 3, got saved. But by the time you get to Acts chapter 4, the Bible says, after they prayed, the place was shaken where they prayed and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and spoke the word of God boldly. And this time, 5,000 got saved. Do you see that? And by the time you get into Acts chapter 8, the Bible says, Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them and the whole city was shaken by the power of the living God. So as that anointing increase, your authority increases and God begins to do greater in your life. And by the time you get into the book of Acts chapter 10, the anointing of God had so increased on the apostle Peter life. Remember in Acts 2, 3,000 got saved. But in Acts chapter 10, the apostle Peter, God used him to raise the dead. And the Bible says the whole region was shaken under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. I dare you to open your mouth and say fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Now watch this, watch this. You got to understand this when the anointing of the Holy Ghost begins to move in your life in a fresh way, in a new way. Certain things are going to happen. Look at what's going to happen in verse 11. God begins to bring judgment on your enemies. Listen to what David said. David says, my eye shall see. So when that fresh anointing comes on you, God allows you to see what you've never seen before. David says, my eyes shall see my desire on my enemies. As that anointing increases, God brings judgment against your enemies. Are you listening to me this morning? And not only that, but David says, my ears show here. So as that fresh anointing comes, you see Clara in the realm of the spirit. You begin to hear the voice of God more clearly. He said, my eyes shall see my desire upon my enemies and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that have risen up against me. So God begins to bring judgment against your enemies as that fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost is poured out on your life. You know, the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter four, verse 19, the Bible says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So there is a time of refreshing that comes to the body of Christ. And I believe we are in one of those moments. My God, we had a wonderful time down there in the Bahamas. I felt a fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost. No doubt you can feel it stirring in your soul because God is about to do greater. God is about to do something new. God is about to do something fresh. God's about to do something in your life that's never been done before. God's about to take you to a place in your life where he's never taken you before. I dare you to open your mouth and say fresh oil. I dare you to open your mouth and say, I shall be anointed with fresh, fresh oil. My God, I feel a flow of the Holy Ghost. Ramando lo bossa, ramando la base. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and receive right now. A fresh anointing. I release it on you right now in the name of Jesus. I release it on you. I release it on you. The anthem, I release it on you. Hallelujah. Sing it. You have won the victory. A fresh anointing, lift your hands to heaven. Hallelujah. You want it all. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. You're seated, you're seated in majesty. 
You are the risen King. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won. You have won the victory. My God. Receive that fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost this morning. Receive it. Receive it. I want to give you the opportunity right now to visit us online and sow a seed into the ministry. We are preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. People are being blessed all around the world through this ministry. And we say to God alone belongs all the glory, the honor, and the praise. But we can't take the gospel to the nations without your help. We need your help this morning. So we are asking you to visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give, sow a seed into the ministry. If you prefer to give through the ministry PayPal account, that address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pender Ministries. If you prefer to mail in your donations, make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries. P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442. And you know me and my lovely wife appreciate whatever you do to support us. We don't take you for granted at all. I said we don't take you for granted at all. And listen, I have a special announcement here for all of our friends in the Bahamas and Nassau, Freeport, Abaco, and Nagua, Andrus, just around the Bahamas. I will be in Nassau December the 8th and the 9th. That's this year, 2018, which is next month. In the next two weeks, I will be in Nassau December the 8th and the 9th, I will be at Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church with Pastor Joshua and Pastor Grace Esuego for the Living Healing Power of God Conference. You don't want to miss those meetings. That address to the church is Sunrise Paradise Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. Sunrise Paradise Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. That phone number is 242-356-6257. That's to get directions to the church. 242-356-6257. That address is Sunrise Paradise Farrington Road. And the name of the church is Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church with Pastor Joshua and Pastor Grace Oswego. And if that first phone number is busy, try the second number, 242-544-9968. 242-544-9968. December the 8th and the 9th, the service times are 6.30 p.m. nightly. I'm looking to see you in Nassau, Bahamas. God is about to do great things. My God, I can't wait to see you down there. And just know that Pastor Sean and his lovely wife, Pastor Amy Pender, we love you so much. We appreciate you. And don't forget that I will be in Freeport, Bahamas again, March the 8th and the 9th of 2019. I will be down there for a miracle crusade. I will be at the Bahamas Union Teachers Hall in Freeport, Bahamas. That's their new building in Freeport, Bahamas. The service times that Friday night is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's March the 8th and the 9th. That's a Friday and a Saturday. So we're making sure we are not interrupting your church service. And listen, I'm inviting you to save those dates. God's getting ready to visit us and confirm the word with signs, wonders, and miracles following the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Listen, me and my lovely wife, my cute wife, Pastor Amy Pender, she is the love of my life. Amen? I said she is the love of my life. We will join you again on another morning prayer broadcast on tomorrow morning as we continue 
uh, as we continue our series this week from the book of Psalms, reading some of our favorite Psalms to you. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.